G'day folks, Aussie here from Go Workplace Training in Melbourne, Victoria. Today we're going to have a look at a short video on some basic rigging maths. If you want a more detailed explanation on basic rigging maths, click on the link in the description below this video. So let's get straight into it. We are looking at a rigging system being powered by a winch going through a diversion sheave to a head block being supported by a head sling down to a lower block and a series of falls and a bunch of sheaves in the purchase system, totaling five, being used to lift a load off the ground. First thing we want to do is calculate the weight of the lifting equipment, which is 0.2 tonnes, or 200 kilos, 0.2, plus the weight of the load by itself, which is 6.8 tonnes. And that is going to give us a total load weight of 7 tonnes. And the next thing we're going to do is we want to find out the distance to the lead sheave, DLS, from the winch to our lead sheave. We need to find out what kind of winch drum we have. We have a plain winch drum. The magic number for a plain winch drum is 19. Then we need to find out the width of the winch drum. It is 1.1 meters wide. The first thing we do is we want to divide that by two and we're gonna get 0.55. Now what we want to do is we want to multiply that with our magic number for our plain winch drum, which is 19. And that will give us the distance that we need to have as a minimum from our winch drum to our lead sheave. So 0.55 times 19 equals 10.45 meters. Let's go to the next step. We need to find out our Beckett load. For information on Beckett load, please see the other video. We have a purchase of five. Our total load weight is seven tons. We want to divide seven tons by the amount of lines in our purchase. So seven divided by five equals 1.4. That means there is 1.4 tons of weight in each line in the Beckett. Now we need to find out the load on our lead rope. Taking into account that every sheave has friction and a friction factor of 5% per sheave and there are five sheaves in the purchase, but let's not forget we have one sheave as a diversion. 1.4 times 6 times 0.05 is going to give us our friction factor. Our friction factor is 0.42 of a tonne. Now that's not how much we need to pull down, that's the friction in the system. We still need to add that to our Beckett load. Don't forget this important step. So 0 0.42 plus 1.4 equals 1.82. Our winch needs to be able to haul 1.82 tonnes and our rope needs to be able to withstand 1.82 tonnes of pressure. Now I want you to pause this video on this screen. This is our load chart. We need to find the minimum size rope diameter that we need that can support 1.82 tonnes. So we are going to go with a 16 millimetre rope diameter as a minimum, which can support up to 2.3 tonnes. Now we need to find out purchase support sling load. That is right here. Have a look at what's underneath it. We have all the lifting gear, we have the load, and we also need to pull down to lift that load up. So first of all, I know there's going to be seven tonnes on it. That's the total load weight. Seven plus 1.82 equals 8.82. Our head sling load needs to be able to withstand 8.82 of a ton. Now we need to find out just how much stress is in our lead line diversion sheave down here. We have a 90 degree angle here. Our angle factor for 90 degrees is 1.41. So I'm going to write 1.41 times our load in the lead rope, which is 1.82 ton. 1.82 times 1.41 equals 2.5662. Let's just round that up to 2.57 of a ton. So with this information, we know that our distance to our lead sheave needs to be 10.45 meters, the distance from here to our lead sheave. We know that our Beckett load is 1.4 tonnes per rope supporting the load. We know that the load in the lead rope 
is 1.82 tonnes after it has gone through all the sheaves. We know that our minimum rope diameter needs to be 16 millimetres of steel wire rope. We know that our purchase support sling load is going to be 8.82 tonnes. And we know, finally, that the load in the lead diversion sheave is going to be 2.57 tonnes. And now you know. So with all that said, if you learned something, or if you like this video, leave a like, a subscribe, a comment, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.